welcome to the first edition of Kane's Crunch. I'm your host, Ryan Hoback. As you can see, we're here in front of the Miami Orange Bowl, getting excited about the first game of the year against the Florida State Seminoles, Monday, September 4th. Are you going to be there? We're going to be there. This is Kane's Crunch. Let's get to it. Hurricanes preseason practice is off to a quick start. With practice last Friday in pads and a scrimmage on Monday, we got to take a good look at the guys. Now we have some good video to look at, Coker said. We didn't go very long but we need to do some live things and have a chance to evaluate and see what it looks like when the real football starts. Tuesday morning, the Canes hit the field in the hot August sun. One group that has refused to plateau is the offensive line. Their intensity level has really picked up, Coker said. I've been really pleased by their overall toughness and their attitude. They have cut down a lot on mentals. To have a good football team, we can't have penalties. The muff snaps and the mentals. That's what the offensive line has cut down on. The Canes are looking to keep their practice routine strong. Welcome back to Kane's Crunch. Kyle Wright, quarterback of the Miami Hurricanes, looking to lead us to another national championship this year. That's number six for those of you out there wearing them on one hand. Get out your pinky. It's time for another ring. Let's look at some of his stats. Moss, running back from the Miami Hurricanes, a.k.a. Get Off Me. Looking for some big numbers from him this season. Let's take a look at some of his stats. Throughout the season, we'll be looking at the rest of the players on the team. For now, let's look at the first 25. Miami worked on their red zone packages in the morning and put the focus on picking up blitzes in the afternoon to complete the Hurricanes third double session of the preseason on Thursday at the Green Tree practice fields. While not dominant, UM's offensive took plenty of steps in the right direction. We had a good day today, head coach Larry Coker said. There was some good contact and we saw some really good things out there out of our offense. Guys are running around and making plays. It's getting better and better. Both the offense and the defense had their moments during the morning practice in fully padded goal line and short yarded situations. We really needed that, Coker said. It's hard to do that as a head coach because we had a lot of bodies pile up and it's always a concern. But the guys handled it well. Thanks for watching Kane's Crunch, guys. And remember to swing by the RV lot where we'll be doing a live pregame show from every home game in the Miami Orange Bowl.